Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, in this video, um, I'm going to install uh, some uh, shock boots on a, on a fork. Uh, those are the regular one you can find for any kind of a shop for cars. Or, um, I bought those in a four wheel, uh, four wheel drive part store, something like that. So those are like very cheap. Um, I made the mistake of uh, trying to remove uh, the fork. Uh, the two tube and, and, and the wheel together, which is, it can, I mean, it can be done. You can you can probably uh, remove it like that, uh, but you really have to take it apart to, to put it back together. Here is the how to not reinstall a front fork. Uh, that was such a bad idea. I don't know what I was thinking. And here we go, it just fell. Uh, no damage, but still. You know. So, and then here I am uh, removing the wheel. So I should have done that in the first place. Uh, but you know what, I tried. Now is the time to take care of the front brake. Uh, just put some uh, fresh uh, dot for uh, brake fluid, and I'm going to uh, to bleed the, the, the brake line. Hey guys, so this morning I'm gonna show you what's happening with that carb. Alright, so let's put that up here. I'm gonna open the pet cock and let's see what's happening. See, oh, it's leaking, guys. Yeah. So, 
There is a throat bone. I'm gonna open that and try to fix it. So the, the main jet in a, in a car, uh, I have um, 170 and the, the pilot jet is uh, 52. So I might have to adjust uh, those. I have several different uh, size. Uh, we'll see when I get to, uh, to fine tune the engine. So in the manual it says that the top of the float should be 16.5 mm from the, the surface of the, the ball. Um, and you have to put uh, the intake side of the carb on a surface that is like between 15 and 20 degrees. And, and then you can check that distance between the surface of the ball and the, the top of the float. Uh, it's kind of tricky, but you know, once you uh, you understand how to do it, it's, uh, it's nothing complicated. Here is how the the float should be uh, moving freely with a little uh, spring. So I finally found why the, the car was flouting and it was due to one of my mistakes. I installed a, a vacuum cap on, uh, on the car and uh, as soon as I removed that, that uh, cap, uh, the car stopped flouting. I guess it's a vent for the board or something. So once I got everything right, I was able to install a fuel filter and, uh, and try to start the bike. 
it in. Which will stop now, right? Hey, it sounds good. Uh, pretty happy. Uh, I think I still have some adjustments to do on the car, but you know, I can take my time to do that. Uh, still has the air filter and some some few things to do and the seat, obviously. So, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see you in the next video.